Aloha. Hello. Hi, guys. Sorry, I had to do that because my hair looked really nice when I was in that angle. Like, ooh, take a shot. Ooh, not the right shirt for this. Anyway, uh, hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Um, Today, you see the thumbnail, as I'm always saying. I am trying on Milani makeup for you guys. So if you guys want to know my thoughts and feelings about it, then please keep on watching. By the way, I just got all of these on the event when I went to it. So just a side note. <laughs> all right, so let us begin. We've got this huge, I'm talking about a huge Milani bag. <laughs> literally massive so that's the bag and let's see what's inside shall we i love the fact that this bag has different compartments and ta -da! so i've got little poly like little poly and i always say poly pockets but little wallet pockets like these like for you know your I'm gonna separate them. You got, I got foundation here. I got the three different palettes here. I've even got like the concealer, no concealer, lipsticks, and blusher. Um, I don't know if I've got a highlighter with them, but let's have a look on the first one. I'm gonna take the first pouch right here. As you can see, it's already have some foundation. I've got the so I got the spray mist. I've got three different foundation. I was told that this foundation is really freaking good because you got you can conceal and and it's a foundation at the same time. Um, conceal and perfect it says. So I've got the shade medium beige, which is 04. I also have warm sand, which is 08A, and I also have. Oh, I got two medium beige. All right, so I think right now my skin tone is looking a little bit dark, so I'm going to stick with a darker one. I'm, I'm happy that I've got two. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Um, and then on the next pouch right here, I'm going to open it up, and I've got an eyebrow pomade right here. That's the eyebrow promade, and I believe this is in soft brown. Oh, one. I also have this rose. I think this is face oil prep and brighten rose. Okay, so that's what's that. Then I got like three lipsticks in here. So I've got this one is in the shade oh one. And it's called I am confident. This is I am confident. Oh no, it's number 11 saying, I am motivated. Okay, so this is number 11 saying, I am motivated. Don't know if you can see. Yep, I am motivated. And then we've got the, oh, by the way, these are bold mats. Uh, and then the other one is number 14, I am bold. Ooh, wow, nice red. Uh, and this one, it is just a normal Milani one. And this is in 24 Black Cherry. Ooh, I'm liking that one. So that one's in the first, com that's the second compartment. I'm trying to figure out what this rose prep thing is. I'll have to Google it and check it out. By the way, guys, these are all available in Boots as well. Um, the other one I have here, the other compartment are concealers. And I got their uh, <laughs> business card. <laughs> okay, so business card and concealers. All right, so we've got, oh no, this is a strobe highlighter. I got a strobe highlighter right here. And this is um, number two, Day Glow Illuminating. And then I've got three concealers. So I have the first one over here, a long wear concealer, and this is in the shade Ivory Rose 105, and this one is Pure Beige 140, and this one is Light Vanilla 120. So those are the three different shades. I'm going to use this dark one over here because I'm feeling all like go dark, I presume. <laughs> uh, and then the last compartment I have 
two highlighters. Obviously, this is the iconic highlighter, uh, not highlighters, sorry, two blushers. Um, this is the iconic blusher that everyone's gone bonkers about back in the day, the one with the rose. Uh, and this one is Tea Rose, the one that's been super, super popular. And then I have this one, which is a baked powder blush, number five. So that's also what I have. Okay, so that's basically on the fourth compartment. I have on the last one over here, woo, right there are the different palettes that they released. The last ones are, ah, these are the Milani palettes. So the first one I have here, it is in green. I like that. Kind of matches my top almost. So we might end up going for green. I am not too sure, but this is the inside. I don't know if this is a highlighter, guys. I'm quite torn. I think it is. I think these are highlighters. Um, so this is the green color. And then I have this Flego. <laughs> it's not actually Flego, but it is the um, the orange palette, I call it. And then you have, so I've already been swatching this. Ooh, and there you go. And then you got the mirror as well. If this is highlighter, I'll be off the roof. I don't know whether to go green or orange. I like warm tones a lot, <laughs> as you can tell. Gilded Violet. Look at that. Look at that. So then I'm going to open this up. Oh, gosh, it fell off. And then you have, oh my God, these colors are doing something for me. Oh my God. Look at this, this color. Wow. Like, I'm trying to put this closer to you guys. Can you see this one? Oh, such a pretty color. Oh, I am. I don't know what I want to go for now. I am completely confused. I'm looking at green and I'm really like, mm, half of me really wants to go green. Like, really go green. Should I go green? I'm going to the market, guys, after this. I am not sticking around. I'm actually going to the market uh, and get, I need to top up on food supplies. So I'm either going to go orange or go all red. Oh, so torn. Or I am gonna go violet. Should I just wear glasses and go out? Let's go violet. Let's go something different. I just wanna say thank you so much to the Milani team for giving this to me. This is complete, like, this is absolutely amazing. And Cami as well, when I saw him at the event when he was doing all this, he is obviously the spokesman and, you know, the brand ambassador. And it's so nice to see you again. Um, I swear to God, it felt like we kept bumping into each other every different, like, event we go to. So, but yeah, let's crack on on this and I will stop, mam stop rambling and start recording the video. <coughs> Don't do that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was supposed to be researching about that nail primer thing, but then I saw MGK and my mind... <laughs> Look at this, guys. He released these. I need some in my life. I need it. All right, so I found out that this is actually a primer. So it says set and prime so i'm gonna take that and this one is the rose one they also have uh chamomile oh it smells nice too so let's put a few drops here here and here i hope this like really like sticks on oh my god i love the smell already guys what <laughs> maybe i put too much oil so let that sink into my skin <sighs> Okay, let's just say I like this because of the smell. Hmm, I'm thinking guys, I was thinking to do like a Q&A, maybe for my next video when getting ready with me, we do a QA. and a if you guys want to know a little bit more about me. I don't know, maybe I should do it on my Instagram or maybe if you guys want to, go on down below, comment below, comment all the questions you want to ask me and I'll happily do that for my next video <laughs> while getting ready with me. Maybe I try a different other brand, hmm, maybe? Whew, I am so excited about this foundation, guys. You have no idea. I've been dying to try this for a long time. So I'm gonna squirt this, oh, right there. Hey, how do you know? 
It looks like it's a match for my dark skin tone. I hope this doesn't oxidize and it'll go like super dark. Oh my god, this is actually my skin tone. Are you freaking kidding me? And it smells so nice too. By the way, all available in Boots. I will put their links down below for you guys so you can check them out. And I was here worried like it's gonna be a little too light. Because when we were at the event to select our foundation, we just literally looked at the thing and I was like, yeah, this one or this one too. So they gave me two, but I didn't know in the bag came with another one. So <laughs> bless them. So thank you so much, Milani. Like you guys are literally the best. And I heard so many good things about this foundation that I am over the moon about. So let's see. Okay, so far foundation is looking good. I have nothing else to say. I am so up close because I'm looking in the mirror, guys. Um, it's different. I am uh, oiliness only because it looks like it's shining right now. It looks a little oily because maybe of the prepping thing I did. Hmm. We need to simmer it down with powder. I don't have like a setting powder for them, so I will be using a different powder off camera. <sighs> I'm just touching it like that because I'm trying to figure out if my boyfriend sees me, he, no, when my boyfriend sees me, he touches my face all the time, therefore removing all my makeup off because he hates it when I put makeup on because he's just that kind of guy who likes all natural. <laughs> <laughs> ah, such a doofus. So I am back, power of editing. <laughs> um, I like to leave my color correcting here for a while while I do the eyebrows. So I'm getting this pomade. Uh, this is the soft brown 01. I should have got a darker one. Hmm, I didn't know, did I? So maybe when I go to Boots or maybe I'll reach out to Milani and let them know. This looks a little light. Like, I'll show you. Oh my god, that looks a little too light. It might not be, let's... I always say it's no light, but then on the day, when it, like when I start wearing it, they kind of like blend with my, my eyebrows, so I never know. By the way, this is how I do my brows. <laughs> Such a great tutorial, Donna. Like, you're giving them the best of the best, and you don't tell them. What are you doing next? And how you do your brows? Seriously. A plus for me. Okay, so that's one brow. Note, I never touch this front part. I always leave it and I just blend everything else with the wax later on. And then I use my fingers, good old fingers, to wipe off the excess. Power of editing, this one will be done. In three, two, one, done. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> okay, so now while this is nice and dry, I'm gonna use this bad boy. So this is the darker tone, guys. This is the pure beige 140. And this is the uh dofer guys. Oh, it's a bit dark. Maybe on my no it also has like perfume smell. Maybe on my no makeup days, I will wear this darker concealer but I'm not arguing with it it's looking okay mm-hmm mm -hmm. it's looking good looking good darling looking very good mm. okay so you have to work fast because it dries <laughs> clearly I have a habit of looking down let's just stop looking down just look up Oh, holy Christ, what? Damn. Okay, hands down, I think I found my new best concealer. I mean, Fenty is still my favorite and makeup revolution, but this, huh, Jesus, this has covered, it's stuck. Well, let's see, I hope you don't crack. That's all I'm saying. You better not crack. 
I'm sorry, I'm looking at the mirror and I'm pointing. I'm like, let's see. This concealer better not crack because I have this thing under my eye. Whenever I put powder, it starts cracking. And I just, I hate that when it cracks. So my mic is just annoying me. It's just all the way there. Hello. Oh, I have too much coffee. I have not even eaten yet. Literally went running. I was supposed to have breakfast. Didn't even have breakfast. I just continued working out, sat around, and I was like, what the fuck? I need to record. And now I'm just drinking another cup of coffee and oh, just full of caffeine and no food. All right. I will put some powder in three, two, one. Aha, voila. It is nice and baked up. I didn't. I put a lot of coke in my face. I'm joking. No, I didn't. I didn't. Oh my god. Just don't tell the world, people. I'm gonna brush this off now. Bakeage is done. I don't really bake my face. I just powder it so it doesn't get too mushy. Are you okay? Yes. Okay, so the next one I would go for right now, uh, I don't have a bronzer. Don't have a bronzer, so I'll do that off camera. Uh, let's go for the shades. Let's have Milani Violet. And um, it's so nice. I like the feeling of this. Let's open up this bad boy and let's do some swatcheroos. These are the squatches, squatches, swatches, guys. So there you have it. Um, obviously, like everyone knows, swatches are different when it's applied on your skin, like on your eyelids. So that tells a lot of different. I'm just showing you what the different colors are. Um, just off the bat, the shimmer ones. So these shimmer ones are very smooth when I was touching them. So applying them was very smooth. However, these matte ones a bit rough so um just a little side note to you guys if you want to know and um uh, but they are very pigmented i'm sorry i'm just taking this off because knowing me i will touch something white what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do like one eye so let me just get this up close definitely close and personal now all right i'm gonna take heavy petal with my big fluffy blending brush <sighs> very uh as you can see Okay, I mean, it's it's pretty nice. Next, I am going to take Melodrama. Take another smaller fluffy brush. Ooh, she is definitely a lot of fallout. Put that on top. I'm being very creative today, so expect this to be big and bold. Okay. I'm gonna take very violet. Touch up to the heavens, very violet. Here you come. Oh yes. That's a nice blend. Oh look at that. That's a nice blend. <laughs> I'm gonna go out looking in the supermarket all dramatic. Oh yes. Oh I'm feeling this. I'm feeling this, Milani. Look at this. I am feeling this. Jeez Louise. Yes, Milani. You did this. Okay, I'm gonna take my Morphe tapered brush right here. I'm gonna take Pass Curfew. I think because when I touched it earlier, it was very pigmented. Therefore, I need to be super soft with it. Here goes nothing. Okay, definitely need some build up. I know what I can do. I can do like an almost halo thing. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I know what you're doing, bitch. I know what to do. Just keep blending, just keep blending. Okay, so my halo is gonna be a little different. Take a smaller tapered brush right here. Why are you dusty? I'm gonna take this kiss, kiss. Boy, she is pigmented. You know when something's really pigmented when you have a white brush. Oh, I look like a flag. 
Yes, now we blend that to Jesus. Blending. Flatter brush. And I'm gonna take deep ends and put that right there. You know what I'm gonna do mm. to make this pop a bit more? Put past curfew over it again. Sorry, I'm mixing that all up now. Mm. Put that over there so it has a nice base to work on. Because I can see it's looking a little light and I don't want it to look light. I want it to be darker. Voila. Now, take this flat brush, go back to deep end, and put it on top. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Oh yes, that looks so good. Obviously it doesn't look as much now because it's not a finished look, but once it's done, honey, it's gonna be fire. I'm gonna take a flatter brush and I'm gonna take very violet and put that underneath my eye. My lower lashes area. This is basically it. I am gonna do, I don't have their mascara or an eyeliner from them. So, or like lashes, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the other eye off camera, do the whole look and I'll be right back. Voila. Lashes are done, eyes are done, dilly done. So this is basically what it looks like right now. Um, I'm gonna start doing the blusher. I'm gonna use this like this blusher because I've been dying to use this Milani blusher for so long now. So I'm gonna use the rose. Has no smell. Blush brush, where are you, blush brush? I'm gonna take uh, this brush right here and I'm gonna put it on the rose. So excited guys, like I remember watching, um, do you guys ever watch Roxana Risa, uh, a YouTuber? And she always talks about this blusher and for years I've been trying to get hold of this but I couldn't. And now when I finally got to go to the event, I was like, oh, I need this blusher. And there he goes in my goodie bag. And I'm quite happy, it's very subtle so it's not like in your face blush. So I like the subtleness of this brush. Blush brush! If you guys are curious to as to what this one looks like, this is the blusher right here, the baked blush. And I think you can pop it. Ooh! Uh, it's got a mini brush and a mirror, guys. That is so freaking cute. Use that. So that is the color of this baked blush. So this one more looks like a nice you know when you're gonna go to the sun kind of blush so that's what it is they don't have highlight well i don't have a highlighter but they do have a highlighter so but i did see in this little pocket of mine um i did see a illuminator so let's use this illuminator guys let's use a tiny bit oh wow it is creamy look at this so i'm gonna show you oh wow okay that is quite interesting oh my god look if i didn't do that can you see my arm right now wow let's put a tiny bit maybe on the brush or i don't know so i'm gonna take this blush brush here not blush brush a highlighting brush and just take a little bit and just blend that through Maybe if I blend it by finger. Yeah, so much better. I even noticed that it didn't even move my makeup. It didn't move the concealer. It didn't move the um, the, the foundation. Very cute. I like it a lot. I like the fact that it's like doing its own thing. <laughs> oh, also, where is the... Okay, I want to do a little highlighting on the top of the brow. So, see this brush. I don't know why my ring's upside down, but I'm gonna take this brush. And I'm gonna take full moon. Full moon! Do you guys see the full moon the other night? It was like all pink and stuff. So I'm gonna take a full moon and I'm gonna put it on my brow. My highbrow. Voila! I am taking that these two are highlighters. Correct me if I'm wrong. If not, I'm good to go. But if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. 
Oh yes, two highlighters. It says here, two highlighters. Ah, I'm good. I'm gonna take this delicate right here. With the same brush, I highlighted this part. I know I said I'll leave it, but nah. I'm gonna put it on here. Oh my god, it looks so good combination with this strober. I like this. Standard. I'm gonna top up this with this ceiling, Seeing Stars. Seeing Stars. And put it up here as well. Because I want to. Okay, and I'm gonna put Seeing Stars in the corner of my eyes as well. So I'm seeing all them stars. Queen. Also, I got the whole package. I'm just missing a few things. Um, I'm gonna try the lipsticks for you guys. So I have the Bold Matte, and this is in the shade uh, I Am Motivated. So I'm gonna put I Am Motivated on. Clearly, I don't know how to put lipstick on. So this is I Am Motivated. Next one is I Am Bold. Ooh, rougey red. So this is more like pinky red. This is what it looks like. Last but not least, oh, I got like red stains on them now. This is called Black Cherry. I'm quite excited to use this because, honey, who's waiting for Halloween, right? Oh, it smells like, I don't know, it's a weird smell, like almost fruity. They should say, I suck your blood. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay, so this is the um, black cherry, and I quite like black cherry, so we're going all dark mode here. Yes, so I'm gonna spray this to sit. So I'm gonna take Milani setting spray, it says make it last. Okay, let's make this last. No shaking, uh, three in one, so I can prime my face, correct and set. Wow, lightweight, okay, let's do this. Oh God. <laughs> it's directly at you, it's not like spritzing, it's like directly in your face, wow. Let me be Asian. So that's basically it. I am gonna do my hair and I'll tell you what I think about the products. Okay guys, so this is the finishing look. What do you guys think? Do you like it or do you like it a lot? <laughs> so this is the look guys. I'm gonna come closer. So up in your face, personal. In your personal space. <laughs> this is the update of the foundation. It didn't oxidize, which is pretty good. Thumbs up. Um, no smile lines, which I'm quite happy about. Uh, not so much of a crack as yet, but it did cover the dark circles, which I'm so happy. Please, A plus. Uh, and yeah, check this out. Oh, now it comes out. Earlier, it was not showing anything, so that obviously failed. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, yeah, it's definitely not gonna work. So it's not crisp proof. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> okay, so verdict, verdict comes now. So here comes the verdict. What do I think about the primer? I can't really say much. All I'm saying is it's good that it didn't, um, you know, the oil didn't make it look oily. It looks really nice. So I'm quite happy with the primer. I know I didn't make much of a sense earlier, but yeah, I like the primer. Foundation, honey. I am already in love. So this is gonna be in my drawer 24 seven. I found the right skin tone as well. So I'm super happy that by luck, this happens to be the right skin tone. Um, I guess by the winter, the other shade would have been much better for me. Uh, concealer. Freaking love this. Even though it's a darker tone one, I do have lighter ones, but the Pure Beige 104 is gonna be perfect on the days when I just wanna do a no makeup day. Just put some concealer on and I'm good to go without foundation whatsoever. That days do happen. So this concealer, 
pretty good. Um, brows. To be honest with you, it looks okay. It's like just a brow pomade. I think I'm gonna try something darker because it does look light for me and I, I prefer them a little bit darker. But other than that, it's still pretty good. Now, let us talk about the palette. This palette, I am so happy. Like, look at this. There was no fallout while doing this this look you know is nice and clean it's blendable so i do like it again guys it is affordable so it is now available in your drugstore which is boots in the uk so guys get your hand on this because they also have a highlighter section which i much approve of as i didn't have any highlighters in my goodie bag i got these for highlighters just bear in mind these palettes there's i think there's four or five palettes each of them have their own highlighter as well so do bear that in mind uh let me know if you guys want me to do a different look i can i, I mean I have two more, so I can always do two more looks with these guys for you. So let me know. I don't have to do the whole shebang, just the eye look for you. And I'm happy to do that, including the highlighters as well. Um, blusher. I like it. You can't see it, but I can see it through the mirror. Like in the mirror, I can see my blusher. So I'm quite happy about that. This Luminator, guys, literally get your hands on these. They were, they're so blendable and I can, like, I can still see it on my skin. Like I guess it will be really, really good if you're going to the beach or something. If you're wearing a nice halter neck kind of thing and you put it on your skin, it gives you that nice shimmer, shimmer glow. Yes, this is, this is, this is the product for you. So shimmy shimmy glow on your shoulder go for this holiday vibes coming through <laughs> uh and then again with the highlighter on top of it looks maze balls uh what else did i do oh yes the lipstick pretty good i do like this dark 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 vampire lipstick and i do like the rougey rougey red which is also called I am motivated. I do like that color. Unfortunately, the I am bold one is a little too pinky for me. I'm not into red pink. I'm more into that dark red, red. You know what I mean? If that makes sense. So yeah. And last but not least is the setting spray. The only thing I've tried a few for setting spray, but this one comes out sharp. It doesn't give you that nice flawless mist. It comes out sharp in you. Like, in your face however it's set and primed so i'm happy so yes this is basically it guys i hope you do like this video if you do like this video go on down below click the thumbs up button and that will mean the world to me if you are new to my channel welcome thank you for coming here thank you for watching this crazy ass video with me and um helping me create this beautiful look i hope you like it i'm just saying <laughs> and yeah if you guys want to see me more i'll be here every week so click on down again below click the subscribe button if you want to be notified when is my next video coming up then click the bell button and that got you it got you um and to my ogs out there thank you so much for tuning in again and thank you thank you for all your love and support i see you guys i see you in the comments so thank you my heart goes to you guys i hope you guys are all being safe and well as well so yes i will stop rumbling and i'm going to go because i need to grocery shop i started filming at 2 it is now 5 30 i need to get my ass to the grocery store looking like this i don't care it's a party wherever i go right <laughs> um and also guys if you guys want to follow me in my other social platforms it is all down below i have tiktok now which i am getting the hang of it and i got my instagram which is i'm more active on there talking videos every day and blah 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 so yes that's basically it guys that's all i have to say <laughs> so yes thank you so much guys for tuning in and i'll see you in my next video Mwah! bye